Welcome back everyone. Happy Tuesday. Christine here from Unique Sapphire. Glad to see all your smiling faces. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Well, you guys asked for it in the comments about showing some warping. So let's get to warping this loom. All right, guys, nothing fancy. This is everything that comes in with your loom. This is your warping peg and one of the clamps. These are the clamps for your loom to clamp into the table. And of course, the hook that is much needed. We are going to do a direct warp on the loom. And we're going to use, unlike the last weaving, the warp was all one color. We're going to weave with two colors in the warp this time to make a different kind of pattern. And we're also going to do a plain weave eventually, but we're just going to get this thing warped today or try to. I am not going to be using the peg. I'm going to be using my desk and I have something really sturdy. Let's go over here. I'm going to be using my treadmill because you want your tension correct on your warp so you're not fighting it during your weaving process. This thing's not going anywhere, so I don't need this peg. So let's get the loom clamped to the table and get started. I don't know about you, but I like real wood things and I like to create things with wood. However, the clamps that come with these looms are, I don't know, pretty useless when it comes to my furniture around the house that I've made. So I improvise by doing that and it secures the loom just nicely. Now let's get to warping. All right, I have what I'm um, lost for words right here. I have this in a neutral position. I have my apron up and over and ready to tie on the first warp. We're just tying it onto the dowel on the apron here, and we're going to get our trusty hook. Now I'm going to load up this loom, and I'm just going to pull it through. If I can, the slot. And now off to my treadmill warping peg. Just like that. Bringing the yarn back over. Now, you want some tension, but not too much. All right, that's the first set. And we're going to repeat. And I'm going to continue in this manner by doing my black and white all the way across. All right, I've seen some people like do like gum band things. I like my apron dowel nice and tight. So this way here I can use my hook in the next slot and bring it through. And 
And when I come back and I go into the next slot, I go below the dowel rod, wrap it around, and this just makes a nice wrap around the dowel on the apron here. And for this one, go up. I'm just tying this right directly to the beginning of it because it is such, I'm not, not doing a great amount here. I'm running out of dowel rim here. So if you're warping your loom with one color, you wouldn't be doing all these ties. You would just be going up and over and down and over the dowel rod with your whatever color warping thread you are using. However, since I am doing multiple colors, this is what you would do for each color. So this little bugger doesn't slip off of here. There we go. All right, that's the first part. Just getting all of this Now I need to get this cut off. Use my trusty craft paper again get it wound up and start pulling these through the holes. All right, I got my craft paper down here and I got it started, which is a process in itself. Again, in neutral, just giving a little tension on this. So my warp is all nice and pretty. This is cotton and linen, so it is a little sticky. I do have an overhand knot tied to the ends here, which then I will cut so that way here I can get it all through the holes here. So I want to say that's a good length to leave out. As I said, I have to now go into the adjacent holes and then rethread this and tie this onto the front apron. Warping process is not over, not by far. I've cut all my ends to my loop. Now I have to bring one of these strands into the adjacent hole. And it has to be consistent. So if I'm going to the right of the hole, the next one goes to the right and so on and so forth on down the line. There is no easy way to film this. <laughs> Just put your hook up through. Grab the right one and not grab. So there you have it. So that one's done. Next set. It helps if you give it a little tension. So that way here you can make sure you get the right one through. 
and so on and so forth. Get these tied. fully warped. So there you have it. I hope this helps all the visual learners out there. It did take me about a little over two hours to get this loom warped. It does take time. It is a tedious task and to get the right tension on everything and have both of your aprons tensioned right on here so your uh, weaving is not off. Do I have a pattern in mind? No. I just changed it up because the first weaving that I did, my warp colors were all the same. This one I have six strands of black, four strands of white, and it just repeats all the way across the loom. Yes, I did load this up. There's only two slots that are not loaded with any warp yarn. So I'm gonna go from there. Do I follow patterns? I like to make my own up, so I fly by the seat of my pants. So that's the creative part of me. I just like to do it that way. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, please like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for when I post a new video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.